We welcome everyone, friends. Today, Mikey and I came to this hospital to become great doctors. Well, not so fast. We still have to be hired. Did you take all the documents with you? Have you forgotten anything? Yes, it seems like not. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste time. Something very familiar to this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? Ah, JJ and Mikey. You again. What is it this time? Hi, we just came to get a new job. Oh, yes, certainly. I remember that you said something like that. Give us your documents here. Mr. Jonesy, will you hire us? I think so. Last time you showed a good result, so you can safely go to the locker room and change your clothes. Everything is the same as last time. A test will also be waiting for you. So I'll be waiting for you in my office. Thank you, Mr. Jonesy. Well, Mikey, just the same as in a veterinary clinic? Funny to remember? Yes! It's funny to remember the time when we treated animals. I really liked doing it then. Yes! But this time we will not be treating animals, but people. Is there any difference? Well, of course there is. Although, in fact, not entirely, because the structure of the body, organs, and structures are similar to those of animals. Yeah, I see that you are ready. Well then, follow me. You will again have to take a small test just like last time, so there shouldn't be anything complicated for you. Okay, Mr. Jonesy, who is our first patient? Not so fast. First tell me, did you have any experience in medical practice after you worked in a veterinary clinic? Yes. In fact, a lot of time has passed. For example, I recently climbed inside Mikey and treated his organs. And it was funny when I talked to his brain. Really, one doctor looked at me so strangely. Good. It's a great experience indeed. Did you do anything else? I also remember how JJ became very ill and also climbed into him and repaired his organs. The most interesting thing is that we had similar problems. And in general, we heard the signals that the brain sent to help us. I didn't understand how exactly. Well, for example, I was in Mikey's stomach and heard his brain talking to me. Yeah. I understand what you mean. Fine. This is also a great experience. I think we can handle this job. There is nothing complicated here. Yes, exactly. I see what you can do. Soon you will receive a list of patients and their complaints. If you don't understand something, come to me. Or use the Central Medical Library. Well, or the Internet. We understand everything. Thank you very much. Take this. I think that you will understand what is written there. Good luck to you. You can start working. So, Mikey, I'm ready to get to work. Let's look at the list of patients and their complaints. Well, what's there? What's wrong? You and I need to go to the first patient. His name is Clarence Hunter. He is in the first ward. It seems to me that you and I have gone in the wrong direction. Oh, yes, exactly. But it doesn't say what his problems are. Maybe in the chamber itself, we will find a document with his problems. It's here. Let's go inside. Good luck to us. I salute Clarence Hunter. What are your complaints? Doctor, help me. I have very terrible headaches. They haven't gone away for days. Please help. Don't be nervous. We will now bring all the necessary medicines and help you. For some reason, I'm sure that this will quickly heal now. So sit there and we'll bring everything to you now. What do you think this is? Apparently just tension. Stress. He's kind of worried. So everything will be fine now. Great. I'll now gather all the necessary resources and help that dude. Because this is a pretty simple case. So Clarence Hunter, I give you these pills. You will take two pieces in the morning and two pieces in the evening. Now, Mikey, give me the syringe. I'll give one injection and the medicine should work. You will feel much better, but you will need to sleep for the medicine to work. Excellent. Thank you very much, Doctor. I don't even know how to thank you. No problem. If you have problems, come here. But nothing should happen. You just need to take two tablets in the morning, two in the evening, during the week. If the headache comes back, then come here. Take this reward from me. Thank you for helping me. You saved my life. <laughs> Good luck to you. Come to us again. Well, now we have a second patient. 
and he is in room number two. So go to him quickly. So, Sylvester Hampton, it's somewhere here. I greet you, Sylvester. How are you doing and what are you complaining about? My belly, it hurts a lot. And I also have a high temperature and nothing helps me. Uh-huh, I think I understand what it could be. Did you eat any food before your problem started? To be honest, I don't remember anymore. I definitely ate something. Well, it seems to me that you have poisoning. I will need to bring material and most likely conduct an examination of your abdomen. I somehow felt scared. Does it hurt? Of course not. Now your pain is much worse, and if you do nothing, it will get worse. So wait here. I'll come now. Poisoning? How do you make a diagnosis so quickly? And now we'll go inside the patient and you'll see everything for yourself. Stomach pain and fever are 90% of cases of poisoning. So Sylvester, now we will conduct a study and everything will be fine. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Don't be afraid, Sylvester. It won't get worse for you, so trust us. We'll give you an injection and you will lie down and have a little rest. And at this time, we will need to conduct an analysis. We will cure you and nothing will bother you. So pull yourself together. Everything will be okay. What there, Mikey? It looks like the medicine has worked and we can now climb inside his stomach. Good. So, artifact to reduce with us? Yes, I took it. I understand that we need to shrink down and we will explore what's inside. Exactly like that because this will be the most effective way to cure the patient as quickly as possible. Okay, prepare your weapons. Suddenly we need it. We will definitely need it because there are monsters waiting for us there. Good luck to us. Well, here we are inside the patient. And what do we have here? Hmm, I don't see any viral infection or poisoning. I'm telling you for sure that this is poisoning. Let's look at body temperatures. Oh my god! 39 degrees, so we need to hurry up! In order to lower the temperature, we need to neutralize the infection. But where is she? Oh my god, Mikey! And here comes the infection. Great! We found them! These beetles are the very poisoning! This viral infection just looks like bugs! Well, nothing. We will destroy them and cure the patient. So that's the plan. I'll give you a flamethrower, and we'll go burn the beetles. What are you ready, Mikey? Then good luck to us. Let's burn this viral infection that is actually poisoning and looks like bugs. Great idea. As soon as we destroy the beetles, the patient should feel much better and his temperature will drop to the desired level. Jay, you and I are doing a great job of eliminating this infection. You are doing great. Yes, Mikey, because there is nothing complicated here. After all, we are experienced doctors. And for us, this is just some kind of walk or warm-up. JJ, now we need to neutralize the fire because there is a problem with the temperature. We use water balloons. Water will perfectly cool the body and neutralize fire. It's great that an effective treatment method turns out to be so simple. Well, as I told you, there's a lot of gastric juice here. And how do we neutralize it? Let's use additional fabrics. They will absorb a lot of gastric juice and will not let it leak. This is probably why that dude had a stomach ache. It turned out that because the patient ate something poisonous, an infection got into his stomach. We neutralized the infection and the morning temperature should have returned to normal. But this is not enough because the stomach itself hurts due to gastric juice. We will neutralize it and immediately move on to cooling the body. The patient was lucky that he quickly contacted us because this gastric juice is very dangerous in such quantities. Yes, so everyone always needs to know that it is best to immediately come to the doctor if he has any problems, so that in the future it won't be even worse. Well, I see that we have very little left here. Hmm, are you sure that this ice is safe to use for such purposes? Look for yourself. The temperature is already 37, and we need 36.6. 37 is still somehow a lot, but this is already much better than it was. We will just give some pills to the patient and he will drink them. And then it will become much easier for him. Hmm, okay then, when the ice melts, where will it go? 
It will get into the stomach and then into other ways. It's not scary because on the contrary, it will even be better. Did you ask if it is safe to use this ice? Well, of course yes, so do not worry. Wow, and what now? It looks like everything is fine with him. He's still sleeping. And as soon as he wakes up, he will feel that there is no more pain. Great job! The second patient is completely healthy! Or was it third? No! We'll go to the third now. So let's not waste time. His name is Liam! And now we find out what happened to him. Hi, Liam. What are the complaints about? And my leg is broken. Please help! Is your leg broken? So why are you standing here? Why aren't you lying down? You need to sit down quickly. The leg is broken. It's okay. We will help you. Because there is nothing complicated here. Will it hurt? No! You are in much more pain now! Well, what's up with Jay? I'll put a cast on leg now, and it will heal. And I'll tell you the rules. Rules? What other rules? First of all, don't you dare tear it apart somehow. Scratch and tear the plaster. It will have to lie on you like this for about three months. Under no circumstances wash off that part of your leg. Even if a little water gets in there, it's okay. But don't wash off the plaster. If you do this, it will only get worse. I understand you, doctor. And how long should I walk with this cast? In three months you will come to us. We will resolve it and then you can walk peacefully. How did this even happen? I was riding a bike and then I braked using the front brakes and just flipped over and broke my leg. Lord, that's it? Now you are free. You will come to us in three months. Thank you very much, Doctor. Good luck to you. So, what about our patients? It turns out that we cured the first one. But perhaps he will come to us. The second one, he is still sleeping. And this third one will have to come to us in three months. Who's next? Next is our last patient, and is he something special? He has some special disease. So get ready, Mikey. I welcome you, Hugo. What happened to you? Oh, how can I explain this to you? I have stage three cancer. Oh my God. Oh no. Is everything really bad with me? What will happen to me? Yes, but no one could help me. Maybe if you help me, I will reward you very generously. It's not about the reward. It's about the fact that there is no cure for this disease. Wait, library. We should go there and find out about this disease. Exactly, but perhaps we will be able to find something there. Well, here we are. So, our task is to find any clues about this disease. We need medicine, or at least potion recipes that can help us. Well, Mikey, did you find anything useful there? I'm still looking, but I can't find anything. Wait, stop! What's there? I found some book. Everything is written here. Jay, I found a cure! Excellent! Then bring it here! What does it say here? You can cure cancer even at the last stage! But for this you need to use a magic ingredient? Demerit! I know who can help us and quickly follow me! JJ, where are you going? Tell me! In general, Ashley, I think that she will help us somehow. Does she still live here? But Well then, then maybe she can really help us! Knock, knock, knock! Is there anyone here? Hey, Ashley! It's me, JJ and Mikey. Are you here? JJ and Mikey, what you need? Why did you come here? We urgently need your help. We want to cure stage three cancer, and we need the ingredients that are written in the book. Dumber it! I will help you, but only on the condition that you indicate my name if you really cure stage three cancer. Because it will be a super discovery. Yes. I promise you, Ashley, we will indicate your name. We will indicate where you live and journalists will come to you. And after a while, you will be swimming in money. Still hold the microscope. I think he won't bother you. Well, here you go. There is a recipe in the book so you can figure out how to create the potion yourself. Now go and good luck to you. Well, Mikey, can you even imagine what kind of event we are about to open? We will now create a cure for a global problem. Yes, it certainly sounds cool, but... What? Do you doubt something? How to believe this? Can this really somehow cure such a serious problem? Hmm. I think it's better than nothing. We need to try. 
especially since we have such a successful case. We have a patient who is already in despair, and he wants any methods, but we would help him. JJI prepared! Let's go to the patient quickly! Excellent! I hope that this treasure will really work as it should. Mr. Hugo, we have good news, but it's not a fact that it will hurt. I don't care anymore! You are the only chance to save me! Okay, of course we'll try, but it's unclear what will happen. Did it work? You need to conduct examinations and take tests to find out. And this will take time. Hey, we don't need money. Everyone needs money. Thank you very much. I'll come to you soon. Did it really work? It should work. We'll see soon. I can't believe you invented a cure for cancer. It's all thanks to the book we found in the library. Thanks to Ashley from the swamps, this is an alchemist and this patient. You are great. I, I congratulate you.